Hello everyone, today is Sunday, July 29th. Um, let's do a quick update here on my aquaponics system. Uh, we took a lot of uh, arugula and spinach out just, just now. Um, all, all this side is basically arugula. It's the whole half a bin there. And then on the right is spinach. Now the spinach came out of the wicking bed over here, not out of the aquaponic system. I can't get spinach to grow my aquaponic system very well. But you can see here in the wicking bed, it's doing, it's doing fantastic. Um, there's also some arugula in the wicking bed, but it's losing the battle against the spinach. So most of my arugula is coming out of the raft beds that you see over here. So I took a bunch out. Um, with arugula, you can cut it. You can cut back uh, the leaves. Like you see over here, this one's been cut, but then it just it just keeps sprouting new leaves. So you can cut it quite a few times. Um, I think I've cut this back now. This is either my third or fourth time that I've cut it back. Um, along the back here, I have uh, chili plants that are in their they're in about a, their fourth week, I think, of growth in the system, and they're starting to put out some some chilies. You can see here and over there. So these are just regular uh, red peppers. Some other ones over here, you can see back in there. And over here, there's a couple hanging. So those are doing fine. Took, I took the spinach out of this bed. This is where I had um, some spinach growing. Never worked out too well. In the raft beds, um, I transplanted just today some arugula from the wicking bed over to here. Like I said before, the spinach was outgrowing the arugula and was was blocking uh, the sunlight. So I took out the arugula and I, I planted it in here. Um, I don't know if it's going to work, but I'll, I'll wait and see. Um, and then over here, some more chili plants. These are in a wicking bed. These have been in here longer than the, than the plants that are in the aquaponic system. Um, these, these look to be doing okay. And then as far as the fish go, ever since installing this, uh, this filter here, it's been on a couple weeks now, the water is, is much, much clearer. Oops. There's the fish tank. I don't know if it's visible in the video, but it's definitely much, much cleaner. And you can also tell in the sump the difference and the, the climbing up of the water. So anyway, that's about it. Um, not much else going on. This is a giant aloe plant in my, in my herb uh, planter. And that's about it. And then I have this other waking bed here that I haven't planted anything in. That's probably a tomato seed that sprouted that was in the vermicompost. And anyway, that's about it. Thanks for tuning in.